What I have for you today is a first edition of Aldous Huxley's The Perennial Philosophy. The book was first published in London in, in 1946, um, and the reason I have it in a uh, first edition is because the book is very dear to me. It made a, uh, a, a very a big impact on my life when I started studying world religions um, 20 odd years ago. Um, the point of the book is that, um, well, Aldous Huxley spent some time in India um, and uh, during that time he had a chance to study the Indian religions which are gathered under the uh, the general title Hinduism in, uh, in the Western world. And uh, what he realised was that uh, after you dig a little bit deeper than just the 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 surface um that <laughs> it's a polytheistic religion and you know the the details are very different um but ultimately the truths that it's teaching uh, hinduism um uh, they are the very same truths that can be found in the Semitic religions, uh, Judaism and Christianity and Islam. Um, and so he wrote this book, um, re uh, looking through all the known religions to him uh, at the time and finding the common topics, which can be found throughout the ages and throughout uh, all cultures. And these are the uh, these are the, the general uh, topics that um, that are covered by all religions, and it doesn't matter where you go or when you go, that 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 is what uh, ultimately comes out. Uh, obviously, the details uh, are different. Um, the the way in which these truths are uh, are conveyed are different, um, uh, and and of course you have the uh, the exoteric aspect of each religion where um, um, people start worshipping the, uh, the, the the people who um, uh, who convey the, the, the message uh, and then they start going to war against people who've got someone else who's conveying the exact same me message by the way but um, but it's a different person and it's from, from a different culture and therefore they must be wrong etc uh, so so this book um is about cutting through that uh, that surface difference and looking at the perennial, which means eternal, uh, thread um, of uh, that that can be found wherever you look, whenever you look, uh, a little bit deeper than the surface. Um, it is a wonderful book. There are there are no illustrations inside. I I won't uh, I won't spend very much time showing you. Uh, what is inside what 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 you do get is a lot of uh, well william law does <laughs> uh, come up quite a lot um uh, he he is uh, one of uh, huxley's favorites uh, but uh, but you can see uh, that there are um uh, mystics from from various traditions uh, and and various uh, uh, backgrounds uh, lots and lots of quotations uh, that are essentially saying the same thing. You have Master Eckhart uh, there, followed by Chang Tzu, and uh, um, uh, uh, and, and so on. Uh, so, if you're interested in um, in comparative religion and and in uh, in that perennial philosophy, in the um, in the undercurrent that um, that religions point to, rather than the the surface veneer uh, that religions present. This is a really, really great place to start. I, I remember just getting completely lost in it, and uh, and uh, I spent days just going over and over every chapter, drinking it in because it it uh, it's so beautifully written and uh, uh, and and it rings just so true. Um, obviously there are modern editions. You can get a paperback version that you can scribble all over and. <laughs> and make your own notes but uh, but I was very very pleased to get uh, a first edition of this um, considering that they're now quite rare uh, so there we go that's one of my one of my preferred books um, if you like the video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, if you get a chance to subscribe I'd really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already if you have subscribed already thank you very much for for returning and uh, I will see you very soon.